Hello and welcome to Smart Home Charge. Each property and customer is different when it comes to electric car charge point installations. The charger type, the location of the charger and the cable length are just some of the factors involved in terms of determining the overall cost. So without further ado, let's explore what is included in a standard insulation and what factors can affect your overall cost. Here at Smart Home Charge, we try to be transparent with our prices. That's why we include them on the website. They include the cost of the charger, a standard insulation, and they also include the 500 pound government OLEV grant. But every home is different. So these are from and guide prices only. This is why we ask you to complete an online site survey first. This means our in-house engineers can assess the work involved and give you an honest price upfront and that way you can make an informed decision. So what is included in a standard insulation? At Smart Home Charge, that includes the fitting of your selected charge point on a brick or plaster wall or any other suitable permanent structure. It also includes the routing of the cable through a drilled hole in a wall up to 500 millimeters thick or 20 inches where needed. In terms of cabling, that includes 10 meters of cable, which is run and neatly clipped to the wall between the distribution board and the charge point up to a height of 1.8 meters. It also includes all electrical connections at the origin of the supply and charge point. It also includes insulation of a type C MCB. Will also include up to three meters of plastic conduit or trunking to conceal any interior wiring. And of course, it includes the electrical testing and NICEIC certification. At the end of the installation, we will also demonstrate the charge point functions and the app if you need it. So aside from the standard insulation, what else can influence the cost? Well, the main things are the additional cabling. How much do you require, if any? We include 10 meters cabling as part of the standard insulation cost, but of course, if you need more, then that is additional. Do you need a type A RCD? Some insulations will need this. We will let you know beforehand, but there is an additional cost for this piece of equipment. The other thing that we need to look at is the earth stake. Do you need one for your property and for your charger? Now it does depend on the charge point that you have ordered and it depends on the earthing arrangements at your property. So we may need to install one. Aside from this, the only other things that might affect the overall cost is if there's any other additional work required. In rare cases, some customers have needed to dig trenches for their cabling. To save on installation costs, some customers do do the work themselves or they ask a qualified professional that they know to help them out. After which, we then come in and do the installation. Ultimately, the best way to find out what your installation will cost is to complete an online site survey. It's free and only takes a few minutes. Simply choose a charger from our website, smarthomecharge.co.uk and click request a quote. We'll send you a link to complete your survey and once we've received your photos and a short video of the cable run, our in-house engineers will assess the work involved and give you a bespoke quote. For more information, visit smarthomecharge.co.uk or click on the links in the description below for some related content. If you like this video and you want to see more, please click the thumbs up down below. It really helps us out. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. See you next time.